Welcome to Raptors Recon. Today's topic, Avengers Infinity War Breaks Box Office Record. I had the honor of being able to go see this uh, movie on opening night. Um, so we'll, I'll be discussing a little bit uh, about the movie itself. There might be some spoilers, so spoiler alerts. I'll try my best not to, but uh, they, one might slip, so you've been warned. Anyway, uh, I'd like to read an article. That was posted uh, on CNN Media. It's titled, Avengers Infinity War Assembles Biggest Box Office Opening Ever. It's written by Frank Pallotta. It reads, The Avengers battled their way to global box office domination this weekend. Marvel Studios' Avengers Infinity War made an estimated $640.9 million at the worldwide box office for its opening weekend, according to Disney. That shatters the record for biggest worldwide opening held by Universal's The Fate of the Furious, which made $541 million for its global opening last year. Infinity War also brought in an estimated $258.2 million domestically this weekend. That makes it the biggest opening weekend ever, edging out the $248 million that Star Wars The Force Awakens made in 2015. Disney now holds nine of the top ten biggest openings in North American history. Most impressively, Infinity War nabbed the global record without the help of China, the world's second biggest movie market. The film opens there on May 11th. Disney masterfully combined all of the separate elements of the Marvel brand and brought them together in an enormous and irresistible epic popcorn movie, said Paul Dergaravidian, senior media analyst at Comscore. I'm going to just call him D because that's a really long name. <laughs> D added that Infinity War showcased the big screen experience in a way that audiences embraced despite all of the competition from an almost infinite array of options for on-demand entertainment. The Marvel film brings together more than 20 of the brand's heroes, including Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, Chris Evans' Captain America, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther. Infinity War is the pinnacle of a decade's worth of characters and storylines for Disney's Marvel, the studio has been one of the biggest success stories in film history, bringing in roughly $15.3 billion globally. Infinity War was also a hit with critics, bringing in an 84% score on the review site Rotten Tomatoes. And as a side note, the audience score right now is holding at 93%. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid, especially for the opening weekend. Going into this weekend, the domestic box office was down about 3% compared to last year. But thanks to the big opening from Infinity War, the 2018 North American box office is now up 3% according to Comscore. One huge blockbuster can make all the difference at the yearly box office, D added. Infinity War will effectively reverse the downtrending box office we've seen so far this year and get the industry on track setting the stage for what could be a big summer. So that was an interesting article and uh, you know it just really highlights you know what Marvel is doing and the quality of film that they are films that they're producing. I mean Avengers basically takes the record for domestic openings, takes the global the worldwide box office record and it didn't even have China. I mean, China is a huge market. So you could imagine how much money this thing is going to make once it opens up over there. I mean, this is the first weekend. And it's killing it. It's killing it out there. I mean, I'm a diehard Star Wars fan. But in my opinion, Marvel Studios is going to be taking the reins from Lucasfilm. As far as being the number one watched and desired film franchise that's my personal opinion it may be a temporary thing but the way that uh, the films are going now as far as on uh, Lucasfilm side of that house 
I think this is going to be a reality. Why? Because Marvel is getting it right. Now, are they doing everything completely 100% comic book accurate? Is everything 100% the way that, you know, we read it in the No. But they are doing their characters justice. Things make sense. The movies have each movie has its own flair. It has its own personality. But at the same time, there is an overarching cohesiveness that is lacking in the current Star Wars films. Now, I'm not going to use this to this uh, discussion to bash the Star Wars franchise, but I'm just saying that Marvel is doing it right. Look at the quality of the actors that they have participating. They've got top-notch actors here doing a great job. They've been able to handle complicated characters, powerful characters, and they've been able to integrate them together and not let one outshine the others. Now, that is hard. I mean, think about all of the the characters they have to juggle. I mean, you're juggling big names, you know, like the Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, You've got Black Widow, Captain America, Black Panther. There's the list goes on and on and on. And they are juggling all of these characters in all of those dynamic situations masterfully. And I think that is why it's killing it. I mean, it literally is killing it in the box office. You take a look. Let's take a quick look. I'll bring up over here. All right. We've got Rotten Tomatoes. So critics, you know, the the uh, professional kind, give it an 84%. That's a pretty good score. I mean, 84%, that's pretty solid. And the audience score right now is 93%. 93%, okay? That's huge. People like this movie. A lot of people like this movie. It's only been the first week, and people are digging this movie. I think that's great. That score can go up, it can go down, but the fact that it's starting at 93% is awesome. And, you know, I applaud them. And it is a testament, like I said, it is a testament to the way that they have brought in a development team that highlights the strengths and weaknesses of the characters, of the heroes, and can integrate these stories and these plot lines in an overarching theme. Because like you like you heard in that, that article, all of these movies, while they all had their own unique characteristics, their own unique subplots, there were little pieces that led towards this event movie, this Avengers Affinity War. Little pieces here and there, some more overt than others. But they all tie together. And to be able to pull off something like that is really amazing. And I, I mean, my, I mean, hats off to the, to the Marvel team. They are doing an amazing job. They're doing a great job. And I applaud them. Now, talking about the movie itself, my personal opinion, you know, for uh, the length of movie that it was during that entire flick, I didn't really pay attention to the time. I wasn't looking down at my watch going, gosh, is it time for this to be over? Is this the, the last act already? You know, the pacing was good. It kept you in the mood. There was humorous parts that made sense. They didn't necessarily detract from what was being shown on the screen. They were appropriate. There was tension. There was build-up, there was character development, and a lot of action, and a lot of really good action, okay? There were certain things maybe I, I agreed with, there were certain things I didn't really agree with, but not they were all minor things. I mean, this movie was awesome. I, I can go back and I can see this movie. Psh, this is a movie that I can see watch a number of times without getting sick of watching it. I know I'm definitely going to go see it again in the movie theaters, um, but I can I can see myself watching this movie and enjoying it about the same that I did when I saw it on the big screen. It, it was that good, in my personal opinion. So, big keys for this. Pacing. 
great. Theme, okay? The the theme of the movie fit. Everything flowed. The the sets, the you know the colors, the music, it fit. The characters and the character development, okay? For the most part, I would say right on point, okay? When it comes to one of the things that I I have had a little bit of a heartache with Marvel has been its treatment of some of the uh, villains, right? I mean, not that they haven't been good villains, but, you know, villain, the villains are typically one and done, and they're usually not as epic as some of them, you know, some of the villains are in the comic books. A little bit maybe one-dimensional or, you know, maybe a little bit lackluster in certain areas, okay? What, you know, one of the first, uh, one of the villains that I enjoyed was uh, basically the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, I thought that was a really good villain, okay? Because there was personality, there was development, okay? So they... They do the same thing here with Thanos. I mean, they did a good job with that, okay? So whether you agreed with Thanos' philosophy, why, you know, if you, whether you agreed with the why behind what he was doing, it at least was, you know, I mean, obviously it's a little bit nutty, but it, it's plausible, Okay, it it gives that character some depth when you see how he relates to others. Is he just this mindless brute that wants to destroy millions and millions of people for no reason, or for power? He wants to gather all this power just to rule everything under his uh, you know, iron fist, or does he actually have a philosophy? You know that he stands by so they developed all of that throughout the movie they developed his attachments to his children so if you see you know he gets the he has and this is kind of a spoiler so obviously you know that Gamora and her sister you know are part of his adopted children but there are also others right so now this kind of shows the dynamic and what his relationship was like this movie um, between them, okay, did he actually care about any of his children? That was addressed. It was addressed in a way that also, you know, he had to balance his loves, his affection, his uh, relationships with his ultimate goal of gathering all the stones and executing what his mission was okay so I thought that entire build up watching him watching his interactions the flashbacks were all appropriate his dialogue was on point I mean I thought I thought he did a great job. I thought the actor did an amazing job with Thanos, as well as pretty much everybody in this movie. I thought they did a pretty solid job. Um, one, you know, I mean, and it, and this movie, this movie gets you right from the get go. You jump in there, man, and it's action, and there is there is sacrifice that's going on, okay, and you know it's real right from the get go when you see that sacrifice having happening in like the first fifteen minutes, okay. So there's there is actual sacrifice occurring. Heroes are giving up lives. They're they're giving it all. Okay, and you you are torn. I mean, and there's some emotional moments in there. Okay, and I won't ruin them, but there's an emotional moment between um, Peter Parker and Tony Stark. Okay, there's emotional moments between Gamora and Thanos and uh, between Gamora and her sister there's there's tons of these moments that they hit right on the money okay there's there's some minor little things like I said that I maybe wouldn't have approached in the same way but I can understand why they did it 
one being um, his confrontation with the Hulk. You know, I thought that would have could have been a little bit more epic and and drug out but I think I think the only thing that saved the one thing that saved that for me was to say okay well they're doing this now because that kind of epic fight is going to happen in the second Infinity War movie because obviously there's a second this is just the first one <laughs> in case anybody was wondering about that there is going to be another one of these so it does end on somewhat of a cliffhanger, but it was an appropriate one. Um, so, like I said, top-notch acting throughout this whole movie. The action was on point throughout the movie. The character development, great throughout the movie, especially for the villains, especially for Thanos. That is, Thanos is the big bad. And he's got a story, he's got reasons, he's got beliefs, he's got core beliefs, and you can see the, you know, the relatability with him, even if what he believes is a little bit off. And I think, I think a lot of movie studios can, can take some notes here. I think this movie benefited from the fact that they stayed away from any kind of political or social agendas and things that seem to be creeping into a lot of movies uh, these days and they stuck to their story their core story okay. this was about a universe epic confrontation something that was on a universal scale that it was bigger than all of that okay so and and even in the midst of that, they were still able to bring a diverse cast, heroes of all shapes and colors and sizes, without throwing that in your face. And I think they did that well. They focused on the story. And the story shows you those characters. We had plenty of the characters uh, from Black Panther taking an active uh, part in this, you know, in the battles in, in Wakanda and, and whatnot. Excellent, excellent job. And then, the you know, the combinations of the different heroes fighting with Thanos and fighting with, you know, his children that go to try and secure the stones, etc. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was just really good. Really good all the way through. And, um, and I know some people, one of the other things that people had a heartbreak w with was kind of a something that happened with Doctor Strange um, and um, him doing something which he had just not that long a previous in the movie said that they should not do he was a very advocate you know very staunch advocate of not doing this one thing I'm trying not to be spoilerific but but if you think back and then this parts kind of a spoiler he uses the time stone, right? And he goes through and he is like searching through and he's sifting through all of the different possible futures, right? Now, he didn't get to all of them, but he said he did a couple million. I can't remember the number because I've only seen the movie one time right now. But he, it was, you know, a large number of possibilities, like in the millions of possibilities. And so Tony Stark asks him, hey, now that you've looked at all that, how many do we win or how do we do that and his reply was there was only one so now getting back to that point where I said some people had heartache with what Doctor Strange did I think personally is he did what he saw himself doing in that one chance of the basically the the Avengers and the heroes winning that's that's my personal opinion on that so I just wanted to throw that out there because I know I, I saw that you know people were complaining about hey what that doesn't make sense it does if you kind of look at the hints and the things that were dropped in the movie you know during that time so minor quips like I said here and there but look guys I won't drag this one out too much but I'd love to hear your comments below what you thought of the movie Look, I give this one at least a 9 out of 10. This one was a really solid movie. I'm, I'm going to go see this again. I'll probably go see it again when Solo comes out. 
because I'm not watching that movie, um, at least not in not in the theater. But um, this is great. This is what a box office movie. This is what a blockbuster should look like. Right here, Marvel, Disney, Marvel. My gosh, take some of those people from Marvel and pass it around to some of your other uh, franchises and show them how to have a cohesive solid story arc with character development without tarnishing or trashing the characters that are within the stories because they're your heroes and you can bring in new characters and not trash the old they've done it here they've done it with how many characters look at how many characters have come out from Marvel it's amazing and guess what folks Disney's buying up Fox so you know you know after the Avengers Infinity War you know happens I think that's gonna be part of the uh, cataclysm that will bring the X-Men and the Fantastic Four and all those folks you know into the the universe man and I am I am really psyched about that I'm looking forward to that so anyway I digress a little bit but let me know what you think did you get to see the movie did you like the movie give me your comments uh, below tell me what you thought was good or bad or ugly and uh, I'd love to hear about it if you like this, uh, give me a like down below and subscribe.